Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are going to discuss about one of the most important feature in Salesforce that is inline editing. So in this video I am going to explain you what is inline editing and how you can enable the inline editing in your Salesforce instance and perform inline editing in your Salesforce records. So first let's see what is inline editing in Salesforce. So in Salesforce inline editing is a feature that allow us to change the value of field directly from the list view or reports so with the inline editing you can directly edit the record fields that are visible there in the list view of the object so let us discuss the considerations that we should be aware of while doing the inline editing in salesforce records so ensure that the user that is going to perform inline editing should have the field level and the object level permissions to edit the records and one more thing that inline editing is only supported for the text number pick list and date fields and the users that are having only the read only access will not be able to perform inline editing and edit the records and in addition to the inline editing of records we are also going to learn how we can perform inline editing in salesforce reports this feature is also helpful when you have to edit records in a report table so that you don't need to create a report again when you have entered some incorrect data in the report table so let's move ahead and see how we can enable inline editing in Salesforce and perform inline editing on the records from list view and reports. So as of now, I have logged into my Salesforce account. And from here, I will first show you the object tab that how the related list look like when you have not enabled the inline editing. So from the app launcher, I will navigate to the account object tab. And here in the account object, this is the related list of the account tab. And here you can see the records. And when we hover the cursor over the record fields, the pencil icon is not visible through which we perform inline editing. And there is a pencil icon over here through which we have to click for inline editing, but, but it is showing the message as of now that inline editing is disabled. So first we will see how we can enable the inline editing. For that, I will go back to the setup page. And in the quick find box, we have to search for user interface. And in the search result, scroll down and at the bottom, you will see the user interface. So click on it. And in the user interface setup, you can see that here is a checkbox enable inline editing. So we have to select this checkbox to enable the inline editing. And after this, we have to click on the save button. So as of now, the inline editing is enabled. Now we will navigate to an object tab. There we will perform the inline editing of the records from the related list. So from the app launcher, I will navigate to the context tab and here we will first click on the pencil icon. And after this, you can see when we hover the cursor over the records, then you can see this pencil icon appearing on the records that was not appearing earlier when the inline editing was disabled. So from here, you can click on the edit button and change the record details. So let me show you how we'll do it that click on the icon and here enter the new values that you want to replace or enter and after this you have to click on the save button and now you can see the records are updated with the new details that we have entered through the inline editing so this is how we can enable and perform inline editing in salesforce and now we will move to the next part where we will see how we can perform inline editing in salesforce reports and for that also we have to make some changes in the configuration settings of reports and dashboard for that i will again navigate back to the setup page and here in the quick find box you have to search and select reports and dashboards and here select reports and dashboard settings so here you can see the checkbox enable inline editing in reports and this feature is available for the lightning experience only so if you are using the classic edition you won't be able to perform inline editing on the report table so you have to activate this checkbox and click on the save button so in my case i have already enabled the inline editing for the reports and now i will show you how you can perform inline editing in reports for that i will navigate to the reports tab from the app launcher so in the reports tab we will open a report in which i will show you how you can do the inline editing after enabling it for reports after opening the reports you can see this button enable field editing you have to click on it so here you can see some fields are also restricted you can see this lock icon it is appearing because these fields are not supported for the inline editing 
but you can edit the fields that are eligible for inline editing in reports so here also you have to simply click on the pencil icon and change the value of the record and in the same way you can edit the multiple record values and after updating or editing the records you have to simply click on the save button so you can see the changes are saved so this is how we can perform inline editing in salesforce reports also so this was all about you need to know about the inline editing in salesforce through which you can perform inline editing in objects related list and and also in the report table so i hope that you have understood whatever i have explained in the video so if you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video you will get a notification regarding that and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye